Well, it's been a long time. But guess what? I'm here with my favorite person doing my favorite thing for my favorite people. And it's Gil and Renee. And our episode is episode 55. And this episode is just to stop and say thank you. You know, a lot of times you have to say thank you. And it can be really overlooked, but this time we wanted to stop and we've been talking to a lot of people, but we want to say thank you to our listeners because we've been growing and we just want to just take a minute to not only do some reviewing, but also just to give you some updates on what's coming up next. Yes. And so we're going to go back down memory lane, but we're going to go back down memory lane with the mindset of saying Thank you. Coming up next on this episode of the Rich Relationship Podcast with Gil and Renee. Well, it's been a long journey. It's been a whole complete year of us being the hosts of the Rich Rich Relationship Podcast with Gil and Renee. And I would have to say, Gil, although this was your idea it has been such a blessing to our life. And I look at all these episodes and all these different guests we've had. And I'm going to talk about what's been the most popular show. Okay. I'm going to talk about what was the most impactful show for me. But I just want to just say, I mean, Lord, thank you for giving us the gift of the Rich Relationship Podcast. Thank you for entrusting us with your people, with their lives and with their hearts. And thank you for my amazing husband, who had the vision and the foresight and the wherewithal to pres- to make the decision to start this podcast. And so, baby, I just want to start off by saying thank you. And I'm so glad to be able to be so close to you because when we do these other interviews, we're at a distance. So, right. so I like being this close. It's fun. You know, I, you said visionary, but it really wasn't so much visionary as much as it is. Sometimes you just have to respond to callings yes you know i listened to a lot of podcasts and when we had uh, initially approached you with doing this podcast it was more from the standpoint of you're just trying to get me to do it for freedom at first well at first i was just (laughs) yeah i was really just thinking about it from just another thing to add to what you were already doing with uh content and putting things out because you know with you being on the tv show every now and again and all the writing all the other book projects and the things that you've written, I just seen it as another option or another opportunity. So God bamboozled you, huh? Well, I would. Yeah, I guess you could say that <laughs> a little bit, but it, it was something that once we decided, it was a point of thinking back. Well, you know what? We've been talking to couples and and before, long before we even started doing this podcast, but we just decided that. Maybe it's time for us to share, you know, at least from my standpoint, it was more like a prompting. So I guess the short to this kind of intro is when you feel that you're called to do something or you feel that urge, you know, whether you're a spiritual person, a spiritual person say, well, God told me to do this. But someone who may not have that relationship yet, they just feel an urge to do something. It's Um, like a burning desire. Right. Yeah. So. But you have to just step out there and do it. You know, it's going to be some unknowns. We've learned a lot. We we, yeah, <laughs> we, we messed up a lot. You yeah. know, I, I listened to some of the early episodes. You said it in the beginning of some of your favorite episodes. Well, we had favorite episodes. We had episodes that we were like, what is going on? We don't know what we're doing. Right. But that's where God's grace can come in because... Even in our shortcomings, yeah, that's when he has the opportunity for you to really bless other people. And I think that's what this has really, really been all about. Yeah. And, you know, it's always important that you think about when you make a decision. Because one of the biggest things, because we're in the middle of an anthology, um, you guys stay tuned. We have a book coming out in October. It's called The Rich Relationships, Our Marital Code to Oneness. We are blessed to have 17 co-authors and three subject experts and this book will be available but the thing that has been so amazing to me is that sometimes we are so afraid of what other people are going to think or what other people are going to say that it stops us for fulfilling the purpose that God has for our life and so writing or starting a podcast or starting whatever dream that God has put in your heart don't allow fear 
to stop you. And even if you are afraid, move forward as you're afraid and God will begin to unfold to for you the plan he has and, and surround you with people who can help you bring that thing to pass. Right. Even when we started this, it started out with a what's next. We yes. heard a message at church and, and I felt a little challenged, but when in even in that challenging, you know, you have to think about, well, sometimes you have to look at what can you do right. to not only if your motivation like ours was just to help other people, that is I think a, a good reason to do a lot of the things that you may be doing. Yeah. And so let's let's talk about what has been our most viewed episode and for our 55 episodes our most viewed or listened to episode is it's not about me it's about it's not about me it's about you and that was actually our story it's not about me it's, it's about not about me us. it's about us that was actually um the most viewed one as far as for couples but you what was that something that you enjoyed or is that just that what the numbers say because it's funny it's when funny you... the numbers don't always line up with what you actually would say and so the the most listened to episode that we have was episode um, it was on November the 10th, and it's called You Don't Own Me. Okay. And was that one of your favorite? I think you said that. that was, was Well, actually, my favorite episode and the episode that has impacted my life the most has been the episode um, Pi, mm-hmm. Autobiographical Listening. That has been the most meaningful episode for me because it helped me to learn the importance of listening to understand and not listening to comment and not listening to correct. And so that was probably, that has been the most impactful episode for me. So if you guys haven't listened to um, You Don't Own Me, please go back and listen to it. All the episodes are on our website at richrelationshipsus.com, as well as all of the social media, all of the uh, podcasting platforms were there as well. Go back and listen to that. And if you know, and you guys have a favorite couple or a favorite episode, please share that with us so that we'll know what your favorite episode was. And then maybe we can go back and play it on another time or you can go back and listen to it. But we just kind of want to get your feedback on what has been your favorite episode, what has been the most impactful episode that you've listened to as you being a part of this community. I know you said that most listeners, it's not about me, it's about us. And that was one of my favorites, not just because we were talking about, you know, the individual. And sometimes you have to think about other people. But I think it's a little bit of both for me because even when you think about yourself just like the motivation for the show is other people Mm -hmm. that is really really important because obviously just like we said a thank you at the very beginning it's all about helping someone because if you're not really bringing value to someone's life you you really are just putting out more noise and and lord knows we know there's enough noise out there whether it's youtube or podcasting not that people messages and their voices are not important But if you're not bringing value, which is what our motivation is to always do in these episodes, not just from sharing things from our relationship, but also sharing things with all the amazing couples that have, uh, we always tell them, have they invested their time in this community to open up themselves and be transparent. And it's not easy. You know, it, it. I think a part of what we don't understand is that it takes a lot of courage to be willing to open yourself up and to share your story with total strangers. And I think that being on the podcast is probably a little bit easier because now, and I thank God that we, again, I thank God that we were mobile before this even happened. That was the way God told us to set it up initially, but it allows you to be in different places with different people without ever having to physically touch them and without ever physically have to be in their presence. So sometimes that's a little bit easier for people to be hot, honest, open, and transparent at a distance. And so we, we are so grateful for, for the opportunity and just for the platform to be able to reach people and not only to share our stories and have you guys listen to other people's stories, but for us to be a part of your life. And that's why we have the website and that's how we have the podcast and that's why we have the book and that's why eventually it's our desire to begin to have meetups and opportunities for us to get away together so that we can begin to cultivate healthy rich relationships yeah even with those 
the titles, as we always say, the healthy, rich relationships, those are so important. And with this pandemic, a lot of people are kind of confined to obviously their homes and, right. and other places. And I think it's made people start thinking of how to reach people a mm-hmm. new way. And you have to be more intentional. You have to be creative. More, uh, yeah, I was, <laughs> yeah, that's a good way to put it. You have to be creative in how you get information not only out there but just making contact with people and i would have to say we've had some some interesting conversations with people on and off air about what this pandemic has done to and for a lot of people yeah and and why it's very tragic how um a lot of people have been affected you know there's been a lot of blessings that have come yes. out of it, too. And it's always rain and rainbows. There's always good and bad. There's always ups and downs. And so I think we have to understand that um, in order to have a testimony, there has to be a test. Mm-hmm. And so I think that this has really made us very grateful for one another. And, and for those couples who are really struggling right now and really having a hard time connecting with each other, I would really challenge you to spend some time thinking about what you can be grateful for. Because even, and that was the part that I was kind of going to say a little bit about was when I say a blessing out of this, not a blessing from the pandemic, oh, but yes. I'm saying a blessing of what the pandemic has caused people to do. Right. You know, more time uh, together, dinners, talking, spending less money, not being out when you're just being busy. You have to, if you're out now, it's more intentional and it's more calculated versus just the busyness of going, going, going. And so I just believe that, you know, God can can turn ashes into beauty and he can take your life and he can use it in ways to be a blessing to other people. So. So what has been your favorite episode? I would probably it's man, it. I won't say it's hard to pick a favorite. That's like saying which one. But which, which episode has been the most impactful in your life? I think it happens at different times. Like I said before, it's not about me. It's about us. That was one. And I think also, I think it was earlier back in, it looks like here. I'm looking at the list. Go back. I'm sorry. I'm looking at the list and it was, um, who told you that? That was a, a good one. I mean, that was back on. Back in July of last year, wow. you know, it's wow, a year, a <laughs> July of last year, um, because I think that's one of those episodes where people have to really be challenged about why we do some of the things we do. Exactly. You can be in a state or in a position in your life and just doing things and not knowing where's the origin. Where did it come from? Why do I do what I do? And it can be having still an impact on your life. Yeah. You know, I I read a text earlier this week um, from a relative who was talking about just sharing information about somebody in our family. But the information was my response to them was they can be stuck in a place because they just haven't dealt with certain things from their past. Yeah. And and that kind of goes into who told you that? Because if you don't really challenge some of the things you know and some of the things you've been doing. And some doing, of the things you believe. And some of the things you believe and also some of the things you've been doing, you really don't know how to come out of it if it's a negative situation or you're in a, a place in your life where it's, it can be frustrating. Yes. It can be challenging. It can be, um, as Paul would say in his words, I, I love the way he said it, the things that I want to do, I can't. Right. And the things that I keep doing i don't know how to stop it i'm paraphrasing but that's the gist of it and that's a part of who told you that right yeah i think that's really beautiful and you know i love that you mentioned that it is july and july is a very special time in our family um july is the month where Derek and elijah celebrate their birthday that was june oh june okay well it's all together so Lyric and elijah and then it's you no, then it's Erin. So Erin just celebrated her birthday. Happy 29th birthday, Erin. Fourth of July. Fourth we of July. love you, and we're so grateful that you're our daughter, and we got to celebrate with you. And so, you guys, this week, the week of the 18th of July, is Gil's birthday, and he's going to be celebrating. He would never do this. He's going to be selling his celebrating his 53rd birthday. And, baby, I just want to say thank you. Thank you for not just being a great person in public, 
but thank you for being an amazing man. Thank you for being patient with me. Thank you for serving all of us. And thank you for giving up your life and your goals and your dreams for those of others. And so I just want to tell you that I love you. And I hope that this is your best birthday ever. Well, every day, every day that you're living or every birthday you get to see is, I think, I think this is going to be a special birthday for you. Well, all of them are special. I mean, in the sense that I get to see another one and I appreciate those kind words, but it's, it's all about serving. You know, people who know me, I always say, happy Happy to be be here, here, proud proud to serve. serve. And that is not a cliche. It's not, it's, it's something that I think everybody should have a, a, a edict or a Mm -hmm. phrase or a mantra or Mm -hmm. whatever you want to call it that they live their life by. And that just is one that is just stuck with me because it's all about what are you doing to help somebody else. Mm -hmm. And I think what we don't realize is that we were listening to a podcast, which now has me listening to more and more podcasts. And one of the things that the gentleman said, and it was, it just, it just, it, at this, it, it stuck with me. And at the same time, it blew my mind. And he talked about how, The goal of life is not to do less work. The goal of life is to find out what you love to do and then to do that until the end with passion and commitment. And so if you think that the goal of life is to not have work, you might be disappointed when you find out that the true meaning of our life is to find what we love to do, what we're created to do, because it creates fulfillment. And then you're not pursuing things. You're not pursuing titles. You're actually just living in the abundance of your purpose. Mm-hmm. And so that's one of the things I'm, I'm grateful for, how you have exposed me to things that I probably would have never, ever considered or thought about. And so thank you for that as well. Well, that's what it's all about. And I wanted to say a public thank you to you from the sense of there's a lot of things that go into a podcast, not just like we always said in the beginning, we're in the closet, which we are right now because it has great, I like the it has, it the has great acoustics, <laughs> but there's a lot of things that go into play when you have to do a podcast and release it and we do the editing and all that good stuff. But the promoting, the graphics, the publicly answering people's responses and mm. uh, responding to people as they have inquiries and other helps and, and from the website, that's all you. You know, I'm mm-hmm. I, I'm it's in us. Well, it is us. But we also <laughs> I have to say those are your hands. Those are your hands on the mm. keyboard doing all the graphics design and the web posting and the responses to people. But and I love it. It's fun. And, and just like we love doing the podcast, but those are all the things that are required. And, it's not, and so I can say thank you to you for that, because without you, nobody would know about the podcast. Oh, thank you, babe. I feel like it is an honor to serve you and to serve our community because I feel like there's so many things that we didn't have growing up and there are so many people we needed to be able to touch and talk to and that we didn't have. And so to me, that is the real, that's the gift you get to give back. Because I've always said it, even as a hairstylist, success without a successor is failure. And with the state that marriage is in and with the state that our country is in and with the state that um, relationships are in, I feel that this is our reasonable act of service right. is to give back and to serve and to share. And so, and I do, I absolutely love it. And, you know, it's funny and we've been doing this for a year and, you know, normally you have, you know, you get, we get feedback, we get positive, we get encouraging, but I've only had, and all the time we've been doing this, I could only find one. I found one, I had one person who said they sent a message and said, I hate your podcast. And my response to them was, Thank you for your feedback. How can we get better? Mm -hmm. And the person never responded. And so I I, I said that to say I'm even thankful for the people who say negative things because one of the things it's really encouraged me is to understand that it's easier to critique than it is to create. And so you have to learn to have an attitude of gratitude and to be grateful even for the negative things because it grows and it makes you better. And I didn't want to block it or erase it because that's a part of your story. It's a part of your journey. And so we have to learn how to take it all in and to be grateful for every part of what God allows us to experience. Well, those are going to happen. You're going to have the rain and rainbows. That's right. So even people who have responded and building up the community, you know, when we started this, 
it was we didn't know who would be listening no. or where the people or if anybody would listen or, or still would, listening yeah. yeah i mean we see the numbers are you guys we, out there are you out there <laughs> hello we, hello we see the analytics and we see the numbers and yeah. if it's helping one person then it's that was, worth it it's worth it and i don't say that as a cliche you know people always say that i say it because that's how i really feel yeah you know because if somebody's out there you are not alone. Yeah. You know, we all struggle in our marriages and in our relationships at different times for different reasons. And sometimes you don't feel like you have a place to turn. Right. You know, our, our, and that's not a good feeling. It's not. But in, and, but I love being in the information technology career. That's what I do for a living. And it's great because there is no boundaries and no limits to where Back in the day, you used to have be confined to your area. Right now, we have live. couples all the way in England. Yeah, and so, and you never know right. how somebody's going to hear it or how somebody's going to reach it. So that's a message to say: whatever you're doing, whatever you're thinking about doing, put it out there. Go ahead, try. Put it don't out be there, afraid. Be, because if you don't put it out there, you never know what God can do with it. He can't do anything with it if it just stays a thought in your head or. It stays in a drawer if it's a writing or if it stays unspoken, if right. it's words that you want to say or sing or whatever it is, you have to put it out there because it will bless somebody. Yeah. And, you know, a part of I'm glad you kind of mentioned that because our next episode is going to be talking about following and unfollowing. Mm-hmm. And it's important that we have people that we follow that because the Bible says, follow me as I follow Christ. And it's important that we make sure that the people that we're following are we're following their example and not just their words, because we like you're right. We do live in a very information oriented society, but you can get information for free. You can get information on your own. What I believe people need more of in this day and time is access, community and accountability. And so that's what we hope that we can provide to the people in our community, to the people who are part of this project. We are so grateful for every single one of them, for them believing in us and believing in the vision that God has given us. And so we just want to say thank you to you all. Thank you to all of our co-authors. We love you. And we know that God connected us for this day and this time to be a blessing. And one of the things we talk about is that God wants to use us to leverage the land, redefine the leverage of the landscape of marriage to God's glory. You know, you mentioned the co-authors and you mentioned the book, but that was something that got birthed out of the, the podcast. podcast. So, yeah. and and not to not to say that as a a tie-in to say that's the reason why it happened, yeah. but that's one of the things that I bring that point up because if you don't put out what you have in your heart take one step at a time you don't know where god is going to take it yes. you know and and this is nothing but god why don't you tell them a little bit about the book as we just wanted to say thank you but as we close out the episode it was going to be a short one anyway yes. because we just wanted to say thank you and, and we love you and we miss you but why don't you talk about the book and how that came about a little bit and what it's going to be doing and and be released okay well you know i want to start off with a little story I can remember when I was probably in my 20s and the girls were little and I remember being in the Christian bookstore and I remember seeing all of these books and I remember God speaking to my heart, you're going to write a book one day. I'm like, what a book? Why would I want to write a book? There's millions of books, God. Why would you want me to write a book? And I just blew it off, paid no attention. Well, now today we have just finished an anthology with Vanessa Blackwell and we are officially best-selling authors. The book is called Finding Joy in the Journey. It's about grief. If you're struggling with grief, please get that book. But the purpose of the rich relationships, um, our marital code, the oneness, is that Gil and I have worked with couples for 15 years, and we started this ministry to help couples in 20, 2009 or 2010. Oh, wow. yeah. And we really had a desire because we felt like Marriage ministry was one of the most underserved ministries in most churches. And everyone says it's important, but there isn't a lot of regular support for them. And so we started this ministry to work with couples. And we, it just, I I think it just wasn't time. So we had all this content that we've written. And every time we got ready to publish the book, I kept saying, no, it wasn't time yet. No, it wasn't time yet. But, you know, then we started the podcast and it's Rich Relationships Us. 
And so as we began to do people's stories and meet couples, and I said, wow, wouldn't it be cool if we did this as an anthology? Because of Vanessa, she kept pushing me. You should do an anthology. You would be good at it. And so your relationships, the people you're connected to, are a part of the purpose God has for you. And so that relationship with Vanessa really pushed us towards let's get a group of other couples together. And so we began the process of looking for couples and couples who had a heart to serve God, couples who had a heart for marriage ministry and a desire to make their marriage better. And I can honestly say as a result of us all getting together and working, I have seen growth in us. I have seen growth in the people in this in this anthology. So it's not just a book. It really is designed to be a tool to help couples get some new tools as well as New, a, a new set of community and friends and other couples who love God and who mar- who love marriage. And so it's really designed to be the gateway to getting couples together and having a new mindset and new community and just change so that we can just have, so we'll know how to change. So why, did, why do you actually, because you came up with the title. Yes. So how did you, or what was the mindset behind marital code to our, oneness? Our mar- well, one, we're both geeks. Gil has turned me into a geek, y'all. I have become an IT geek. And a code is something that, one, it keeps something secure, but it also is a new language to communicate something. And so a marriage code is something I think that most of us don't realize that there is a code, a man code, and there's a professional code. But I just believe that God has a marital code to oneness. And if oneness is the goal, then what are the steps that need to take place for that to happen? And so that's kind of the idea behind it is helping couples to realize that, no, marriage is not easy, but it there is there are processes and there are steps that you can take to actually achieve the same success as the people around you. And that's the good part about the project, because just like you said about the the co-authors, it was nothing but God that brought all of us together. Even all over we, the country. Yeah, yeah, we just kind of facilitated it. We said that, but even with the, the, the couples that are in this, or who are, who have volunteered their time and their effort, their energy and their words and and all those things to contribute. It's amazing because the topics are span everything. The things that we think are. So we have the framework. Yeah, we, we have the we have the we have we have the framework. Well, first of all, we have the foundation. Then we have the framework, and then we have the code. So a threefold core is not easily broken. And so the couples talked about the framework. Right, and and that's the point I was getting at because in in your relationship, one of the things that we had noticed from working with couples all those years was there's a common thread that kind of is woven into relationships, you Mm -hmm. know, just using like communication as one. Right. That is kind of woven because you have to communicate, but are you communicating effectively and are you doing it well with your spouse or the person you're in relationship with? Or are you just talking? Because communication is not just talking. The most important part of communication is listening and understanding. And if you've never been taught that that's what communication is, you think that, well, we communicate all the time. You might talk all the time. Um, but not everyone has been taught how to communicate. Right. And that was just using that one as an example yeah. because and that's what these couples brought to this yeah, project. It's beautiful. They brought to this project of contributing not just what they've experienced, but they're sharing their lives. Yeah. You know, and while we have the podcast and those things, it's not just us. No. And and that's why you mentioned our, our website address, uh, rich relationships dot us at gmail dot com because it is a community it and is. that's what it's all it's not about. Dot us, it's rich relationships us, us dot sorry. com. Right. The email is rich relationships dot us at gmail dot com, right. but our website is. Thank you for rich, and It's my pleasure, sweetheart. So, so that's the whole point of it's a community. Yeah. And so those all these co authors that you guys are going to meet when you pick up the book. I'm saying that. Pick yeah. up the book. Pick up the when book. It comes pick up the book. Pick up the because book. it's going to be a blessing. Because and even if you know the things that are in there, you're gonna maybe see it from a different perspective. Yes. And it's also good because it's the just like me factor. Yeah. Because we all gonna go through things in our relationships. And the enemy wants you to think that you're the only person who is struggling, and that leads you to the island of autonomy, which leaves you by yourself. We are all, and we say it all the time. While our we are unique our situations are not 
There's nothing that you have gone through or you're going to go through that is new. We can't shock God. Oh, my gosh, I didn't know that was going to happen. He knows everything. And so he puts people in your life and he puts programs and podcasts and books in your life to help you become the best version of yourself. And that's what this is really all about. So we thank you actually for just hanging out with us on this shorter episode. It's a little bit shorter than we normally would do because we want to actually we're preparing content for the next episodes that are coming up. Yes. But and we, we just wanted, wanted to say thank you. Yeah. And we want to actually just say thank you, but also just to give you kind of a, a heads up on what we're doing and what's coming out and and just take a minute and breathe. Because with during this time, we had all been busy, yeah. even with the pandemic, you know, people working from home. And But even when you're busy, you have to stop and breathe. Yeah, and, and, and take some time to pray and relax and reflect. And don't be afraid to try new things because most of the new things that God wants you to do have a purpose. So we thank you guys for hanging out with us on this shorter episode. And we will see you guys back here next week on the Rich Relationship Podcast with Gil and Renee. Remember, we are stronger together. Let's grow. Thank you for listening. Thank you for your investment in time. Remember to subscribe to the show and hit the notification icon to be notified when new episodes are posted on the podcast platform that you're listening from. Or you can always find us on our website at richrelationshipsus.com or our YouTube channel, Rich Relationships with Gil Renee. If you found this podcast helpful or you think it could help someone that you know and care about, please pass it along and share it with them. And also, you can always send your questions and comments to richrelationships.us at gmail.com. This is a weekly podcast, and the new episodes are going to be posted on Monday by 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. Remember, we're stronger together. Let's grow!